Oryctes rhinoceros is a well-known pest in Asia, especially because the beetles, they can destroy palm trees. Uh, they enter the tips of the, especially uh, young trees, and destroy the growth point of the palm trees, so that um, the palms, they, they look very um, bad, and uh, they will uh, die uh, soon after. The larvae themselves, they are not uh, harmful for the trees because they only live in the rotten trees, but the uh, beetle Oryctes rhinoceros, there is a pest in Asia because all the coconut uh, trees uh, can be harmed by the beetle if it uh, happens to come in too big concentrations. So I have a pair from uh, Thailand because it's interesting um, uh, to study the life cycle of this uh, beetle because it can grow very fast. Uh, life cycle can be finished in around four months to nine months. So uh, there can be two to three generations in one year. So that uh, is probably one other aspect of the pest side of this uh, beetles or Uchtes rhinoceros. Also, it's very closely related to our European uh, rhinoceros beetle or Uchtes nasicornis. And today I, I will have a look um, what the larvae do. I have here in this box two, four, six, seven larvae. I want to check them and see whether we can find some poop paths already and whether we should put them into these peat pots for a, a good development and to see what uh, happens, how they come out uh, later. So that's the task for for today with Oryctes rhinoceros. So let's have a look what we can see here. I put them in the box around one and a half months ago as larvae, so let's see what they did in that substrate in the last so that's the beginning of course of the this is pre pupa of Oryctes uh, rhinoceros and it's a pre pre constructed pupal chamber already so I will have a look whether we can show it to you here under the microscopic lens this is it well it has a black spot here on the on the back, so it seems to be either bitten by another animal or um, it is a bacterial uh, problem. It's not uh, yet very clear what causes these black spots. And if you if you see here, you can see the pupil chamber that the larvae has uh, started to build here. It looks quite nice, so I think we have to put this pre pupa larva also in into this uh, peat pot system. Also, we can clearly see that the larva is already in pre pupa. Why? Because the legs are bended upwards here. If you if you go close, you probably can see that the legs here they bend upwards. And that's a clear sign that the beetle is already in pre pupa state, so it doesn't eat anymore. It has emptied mostly the, the succum. This is the little bag where they digest uh, material. So I will probably clean it first because it has some dirt also on the face. And then that's it. So it looks clean and nice and then we put it into one of these little peat pots here and then we go on looking for others and this one died here the larva died the dead larva is was on the substrate Yeah, that's, um, sometimes if you change substrate, uh, the larvas, they are uh, very sensible to a change of material, so it can happen that 
um, data. I thought here I already see from outside that the, the Laura started building a purple cell, but I also take this out just to see how, how, how she did that and in what stage she is and whether she's healthy or not. So we have to first, we have to put this lower here away. We have to clean a little bit the place where the lower lower was. That's it. And so, as you can see here too, it's also started to make the purple cell the same place like the other in the edge of this little box. So now it's moving around also. So let's have a first we just clean it off a little bit and then I can show you same thing as before legs bent upwards they are not very uh, big so we also put it in here and we check the next one we, I'm, let's see whether we find a pupa already here is a larva that is not yet in pre pupa stage if we take it out, you can see the difference. Yeah, but it starts uh, being a free pupa because also here you see that the legs are clearly yeah not no that no, not that upbound upwards like with the others, but it can be that the larva starts making a pupa cell now. So I will also put it into this uh, box. moving the legs up and down if you hold it you can see it so this larva is not yet in in pre, pre pupa because it can move the legs as soon as the larva goes into the pre, pre pupa stage they can't move the legs anymore and they don't have to move them anymore and also the head capsule the mandibles now you, you see here that the mandibles uh, they move also and uh, this animal is not yet finished with the pre emitted larval phase so we put it just back and cover it again and we will check it again in some uh, weeks but the others um, you see that they don't move also don't move their uh, mandible so here also I see a larva let's see in what stage this larva is in a little bit what you think is this larva already in pre pupa or not does it move the mandibles does it move the legs what you think already in pre pupa or not in this larva it's difficult to say it moves the legs a little bit yeah, now you see it. Yes, it does. And also the mandibles. They are still moving a little bit. Not too much. Also this larva not yet finished. We put it back. Close the box for another time. And let's see. I hope that we find a, a pupa in one of the boxes. But it could be it's, uh, too early now. Also this here. Well, still a larva. How is it doing? Let's have a look. It's moving the legs. It's also moving the mandibles. So oh, that's a clear sign. Not yet finished with the larval stage and we also put it back to the box we have one more left to show in this video now let's see what we find here and then for the rest of the development I think we would wait now here I think this larvae already started doing something down there but it still doesn't look like it's finished this uh, 
process. So let's see. Also here you can check. Does it move the mandibles? Yeah, and the legs, yes, so this is also not yet finished, we just put it back. So what we have is uh, two larvas and the pre pupa stage, you can see them here. Um, and also, sometimes they move a little bit around in this artificial pupil chambers. And for the other boxes that I have I uh, checked now, I just put the material uh, back to the box and we leave them here. One died, so let's see whether we are successful in keeping this species just to make some research about the development of this larva of Oikides uh, rhinoceros. Thanks for watching.